lovely YouTubers are doing a hop today for your video pleasure and just wanted to share some techniques on using ink and stamps and um, yeah it's just fun uh, using some of my cosmic shimmers and a variety of Avriel and Lindsay Stamp Gang and there's also some speedball ink that you see me using there and this is some really old um, chipboard it's not even actually chipboard it is got some sort of uh, it's almost like a pressed board and it's got a coating on it that doesn't want to take ink so it didn't work I, I end up pulling out um, some of the distress ink or distress paint <laughs> and that doesn't work either so you'll see me go through the trial and error of trying to get something to stick and I go to my trusty gesso which will stick to anything and create a little tooth and that's working so I wanted to make these white so that when I put the ink on top it shows the true color of the ink so I'm just going through that process here and I'm super excited about the girls that are joining me on this hop I will have links to their channels in the description bar below so please hop over and watch their videos and see how we all create with inks and stamps. So I'm a little out of frame here, but I end up pushing that up. I'm getting better about paying attention to that, by the way. <laughs> I wanted to pop up the picture a little bit because those chipboard pieces or press board pieces are pretty dimensional and I thought that I lost sight of the picture if I didn't pop it up so I just whenever I'm doing like a full picture I have a tendency to just grab some of the fun foam and try it to not waste my beautiful double-sided foam from 3M that I get on a roll over at Tupelo Designs LLC and I always say Tupelo Designs LLC because um, there is apparently another place online that's called Tupelo Designs, but it's not, you know, related to scrapbooking or stamping. It's something else. So I always add in the LLC. It's not that I'm neurotic, <laughs> although you may think I am. That's the reason behind it. So I thought I'd clarify that. And... Here I'm creating a pretty monochromatic, um, you know, layout. I stuck with the teals and greens, and those are some scraps and some Project Life cards that I cut apart. I tried to pull just a section of this off, and I'll put it on the bottom. I just end up ripping it. I gave up on trying to get it to be one whole piece while she has a tendency to tear, so I've just learned to go with it. Just tear it anyway. <laughs> I've seen Missy wouldn't do that numerous times, and I thought it was just a genius way to not continually throw away washi when it goes bad. Just go with it. So here I'm drawing these pieces that is a heavy gesso so I need to get regular gesso I end up watering down my heavy gesso and I have clear gesso but yeah I don't always want heavy so you can see now that I'm taking this Avery L it's called meant to be and uh, you can find that over at Tupelo as well they have all the Avery L inks and I guess I'll um, add links to that as well in my description bar and I'm taking a stamp set here 
with Simon Says Stamp. And they do not, I don't know, they're, they're not the most crisp stamps. So the technique I try where I just dip the stamp into the Cosmic Shimmer doesn't work. And I think it's the stamp set because it worked perfectly with the Avery L. So I'm just testing it here, thank goodness. And look, it just it, it made a blob. So I'm cleaning it and trying again and doing a lighter touch. And it still didn't come out right. So <clears throat> I think this technique works best with the right stamps. <laughs> they have to be very, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having allergies. I've been working in my garden and, or flower beds, I guess is a better term. <clears throat> so anyway, I took some of the Cosmic Shimmers and I'm distressing the edges and I end up putting a second coat of the Avery L ink on those pressed boards again because I didn't really like the distressed effect so much on the pressed board, but I love it around the edge of the paper. And I really wanted him I really wanted the press board to be more pigmented. So I end up taking those same stamps and using the Avery L ink and it did turn out much better. I do like that. But it's very subtle. You wouldn't necessarily know what to read. <coughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry. I've been drinking water and trying to clear my throat. I need to take some medicine. That's bottom line. Um, and several people seem to be sick right now. I guess it's the change of weather. There were like three girls on the hop that couldn't do it because they're ill and I feel bad for them, but hopefully they'll get better soon. So, yeah, um, I take the Avery L ink and I make it even heavier so that those pieces really stand out, and I like that much better. And I just took several of the stamps and stamped around and had marked where the picture was going to be so that those would just be poking out of the sides and you can't really see them on camera but you can see the words on the actual layout and there'll be close-ups at the end that you can see so I just cover up my little test area trying to design I add some Amy Tan remarks stickers and that is a rubber um, word that came in a freckled fawn kit. And I thought it was so big that I didn't need a whole lot of embellishing between the press board and the large letters there. I just thought that it didn't need a lot of stickers and embellies. That U is a die cut from that same Simon Says Stamp set. And these letters are Dear Lizzie. And you can see I've used quite a bit of those stickers. And since it's going over ink, it's not wanting to stick. So for some reason, the A stuck like mad, but nothing else wanted to stick. So I just took a little glossy accents, and that stuff will stick to anything. So instead of trying to get those little tiny stickers um, stuck down with the glossy accents going direct to the sticker I just put a little blob on my um, mat there and, and picked it up ever so slightly just barely dipped it in so I didn't want glue everywhere that stuff does dry very glossy I end up taking that two off because it didn't seem to go with my colors I, it was kind of bothering me and it just added too much thickness because that's a chipboard. These Teresa Collins stickers, um, I think they're called Life Journaling, something like that. And then this is a really old sticker from my stash that's Pebbles, and I think it was at the Lake collection. And I don't end up using that little camera sticker. I do add some hearts because you know I've got to do that. 
And these were kind of an off yellowish green, so it went well with that washi tape. And they're like a puffy sticker, so they're uber cool. Just wanted to splash some Lindsay Stamp Gang in turbine teal. And that pretty much finishes up the layout. I've been doing some seriously simple scrapping lately. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, this is a picture of me and Bab. And um, I thought it turned out really cute. And the title is You and Me Equals Love. Although I never put the equals. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out the next girl in the description bar below. And I hope you love the hop. I'm super excited to be a part of it and to bring it to you. And yeah, I hope you're having a great weekend. And if you like the video, thumbs up and subscribe. I just hit a goal and I'm super excited. 2,500 subbies for me and hopefully more to come. Have a great day. Ta-ta for now. Bye.